Dun, 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 diddle, and there she is, the small digital camera for your pocket from Canon. As you can see, it's a really simple digital camera. On top there's the shutter release button, a zoom switch and the flash. At the lower side you'll find the SD card slot, the rechargeable battery and by the way you can use the SD card up to 128GB. At the photographer side, simple as well, three modes and a record button for videos. Last but not least, a micro USB and HDMI port. The menu is quite easy to use, so easy that every child, senior or beginner can use it. You can't select RAW as a file type, but you can choose from 31 languages. The camera is so easy to hold with one or two hands through that nice grip. It's a lightweight camera which weighs just 190 grams including battery and SD card. If you see something instantly and you need to take that photo, not an issue with the SX620HS. From turning on the camera to the final photo takes around 2 seconds. Now let's get to the highlight of this camera. You can expect a 25mm wide angle lens and a zoom that takes your focal length up to 625mm equivalent. That's 25 times optical zoom and with the included zoom plus you have around 50 times magnification. The aperture is not the best with 3.2 in the wide angle and up to 6.6 .6 at the greatest focal length. So I wouldn't recommend buying this camera for concert photography or where not enough ambient light is available. At a greater focal length the camera takes a lot of time to focus, especially when your subject is moving. The integrated image stabilizer does a good job, but not as good as the SX720HS. Of course you can download these files, the link is in the description below for private use only. And of course, as many other digital cameras, does this little piece provide an integrated flash as well. Because of the good construction, sand does not get into the gap between the flash and the camera so quick. If you like to shoot some food for your Instagram account or flowers for your garden, you'll be happy to know that the closest focusing distance is at about 10mm on this camera. As many other digital cameras as well is the Canon PowerShot SX620HS equipped with a Wi-Fi interface that lets you connect to your smartphone instantly without any additional network. So you can transfer the photos and videos from your camera direct to your smartphone and send them to your friends via WhatsApp and email. There's an additional video of how to set up your camera with your smartphone on my YouTube channel as well. You can also control your camera with the free Canon Camera Connect app and your smartphone. To record a video you just need to press the record button which is the one with the red dot. Then you can start instantly. But you can't change any settings except the video size. You can switch between Full HD, 720p and VGA. Before I get asked, no! You can't change the lens and you can't attach an external microphone to this camera. The playback function is also pretty simple, just press the playback button and scroll through your photos and videos. Of course you can zoom in further if you want to. On the small mode switch you can access the fancy Canon filters. To be honest, I don't really get along with these filters, but if you need a creative relief, go for it. If you like to take some selfies with the camera, not a big deal. You can use your smartphone in combination with the Canon Camera Connect app to focus or if you want to, take photos of other people. The camera is capable of identifying other faces as well. About 15 years ago the small Canon cameras were equipped with an optical viewfinder. Today not anymore and I don't know why. So unfortunately no viewfinder, no flip screen and no touch display either. And because this question does appear quite often, I will answer it before you can ask me about it. Yes, you can use the SX620HS for vlogging as well. But the sound is not really good if you're in a noisy area like Frankfurt or if it's too windy. As long as you vlog at home in your garden without any tornado rushing by it, you should be fine. But as I said, you can't connect an external microphone to it. Hier deswegen ein kleiner Einblick von mir, ähm, wie diese Kamera zum Vloggen genutzt werden kann. 
Und zwar gar nicht, denn... Äh <lacht> das stimmt nicht. Ihr könnt diese Kamera auch zum Vlog benutzen. Ich laufe gerade durch Frankfurt mit dieser Kamera und äh, vlogge mich selbst, sehe mich allerdings mal wieder nicht. Ähm, was für mich ein persönliches Kriterium ist. The most important pros for me on this camera are the great size, the big zoom and of course this camera is easy to use, really easy. There are some contrasts for sure. You can't tilt the display to vlog yourself. The audio quality could be a bit better and the focus could be a bit faster at a large focal length. So I hope that this video was not too long for you guys. I made a review on the predecessor, the Canon PowerShot SX610HS as well. Just take a look on my channel. Thanks to Canon for this great product. There's a direct link to the SX620HS in the description below. Thanks for watching. For more videos, just subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Tschüss.